Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to start this video off by kind of apologizing but explaining why I did not film Rocky's birthday. As you can imagine, it's a lot to vlog and host and decorate and all that kind of stuff. So filming it was my least priority, but I did take a few clips on my phone and I put together two like little reels that I posted as shorts on my channel. So if you guys are curious like what we did day of for Rocky's actual birthday, like the traditions we did for him, or the party like decor. I made two separate little videos you guys can watch. And if you have any questions, you can comment on those and I will answer. But a lot of it was just like kind of DIY and I didn't feel like I did anything super crazy. So that's just kind of where I left it for this year. So I'm sorry if you guys are disappointed that I didn't really bring the birthday content this year, but it's just super personal. There's so many people here. I think there was like 50 people here, which was literally just our family and Rocky's like little friends and their families. So it's just a lot and I wasn't gonna pick up the camera. I wanted to also share a little haul because I have some kids clothes and they're super cute and I thought you guys would wanna see because these are two different places that I have not shared before. So one, if you're local, these both are actually local companies. One, you can actually go shop in person and the other one is just here in, I think Chandler. I dropped the ball on Rocky's birthday like outfits. I didn't have anything to take his two year old photos in and I didn't have anything for his birthday party. And so I messaged this one girl who's in Chandler. She was super sweet and she overnighted these outfits so that way I could have them for his birthday party, which customer service, wow, so good. So that's where this first little one is from. And she actually threw in some things for Echo as well. This one, of course, already has a freaking stain on it because I suck with white clothing, but this is what Echo wore for Rocky's party. It just says little love and it's just like this little bubble romper and it was so sweet and perfect. And then this is what Rocky wore. I ordered these pants because I wanted him to wear like something green and I thought these were perfect. And then I didn't really have a shirt with it. So I had him wear this, which I don't feel like totally matched in the sense that it was like double checkered, but it was like the same color and he looked really freaking cute so we went with that she also added some other things in there for me which was so nice this is from Mebi baby and this is just like a brown little top and pants which are so cute those are for rocky and then she threw this in for echo which is again from Mebi baby but it's this like little sweater with like little sweat shorts so dang cute this is what i actually ordered for rocky's two-year-old birthday photos but one, um, I wasn't able to get it in time. And two, I didn't realize that it had like cinching right here, which I did feel like made it a little feminine. So I'm gonna save this for Echo when she is two years old, but it's this like little romper tan, little pocket in the back. I thought it was super cute. She also sent matching shorts for the kids. So these are for Rocky. They're like little plaid shorts. I literally cannot get over it. And then these are for Echo, little bloomers. Perfect for the fall, I cannot wait to match them. I need to match them more. I haven't really matched them as much as I thought I would. And then this is the last thing I believe. Yeah. And it is so freaking cute. It's this little like bubble romper. Just so pretty. I love it so much. So that is from, I didn't even say the shop. Her name, her shop's called Aziel and Luca. So I will leave her shop linked down below but this other one is from a company called joss and jay and they are a boutique that has like a bunch of different shops but they also have like a storefront in gilbert so i feel like if you're ever going to like a baby shower or a friend's birthday party and you don't have a gift instead of going to target you should come here because they had so many cute things and it allows you to get your hands on small shops instead of having to wait and as I'll show you guys, it's just all to die for. So the first is from Jamie K, which I freaking love Jamie K. And it's this little like top, literally perfect for the fall. And then I also got these little tights from Olivia J. This is another local company, which is so fun, but I've wanted to try them out. It's like these little dainty floral tights, which I think is so cute. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is what I got for Rocky from Joss and Jay. And it's this like little windbreaker like bomber jacket. Nathaniel has something extremely similar to it. So I'm excited to have them match for this winter and fall season. I saw that and I was like, I have to get that for Nathaniel and Rocky. So that is my little haul. Um, I feel like I've been starting all my videos like sitting down and talking to you guys. I don't know if you love it, but for me, I kind of have been feeling like it allows me to like catch up with you guys before I just like start showing my day. Today I'm actually going fall shopping during Rocky's nap with my sister-in-law Kelly. So I'm gonna go look through all of the stuff that I currently have so I can see like what I need to buy. Um, but I'm really excited. We're gonna go get a pumpkin cream cold brew. We're gonna try and make it 
super festive even though let's check the weather we have a high of 93 today so it's not ever gonna feel like fall in Arizona but we sure try to make it people wow da, 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 da. are you putting him to sleep in your taco truck yeah. yeah I didn't mention but today is Saturday there's gonna be some background noise because Rocky is playing Nathaniel's making breakfast but I just wanted to go through what I have already for fall decor so that way I know what I want to purchase and what I already have. I've recently been trying to get more decor just because we have kids I feel like even more of a need to decorate for the seasons and especially since it doesn't really feel like fall in here I want it to look like fall in our house and just feel like super cozy so that is the plan I'm kind of gonna do a mixture of like fall decor and Halloween decor and I'll just take away the Halloween decor like on November 1st I don't think I'm actually gonna decorate until like October 1st we're going on a trip to Mexico and we're getting back I think the second or the third so I'll just do it once we get back but that is kind of my plan with decor. Rocky, do you remember these hats from last year? Do you remember how Daddy would be like, hats, the hats? Oh shit, that's <laughs> Do you want to put those up again? Yeah, you're putting the people in. You put them on your head? I know, you're gonna have to show Echo, babe. Were you working out like that? Yeah. He was picking up the weights. Oh my god. All right, so this is what we are working with. I have these hats. I think I have like six of them, and I hung them last year. Do not mind the disaster our house is right now, but I hung them from the hallway, and then I did some like by the TV. So we're definitely gonna do that again. And then these are little bats. I put those in the same areas. This is like a little cheesecloth kind of thing. And then this is from a company called Amani Collective. So this is like my Halloween stuff, which clearly is not like a lot. And then this is my fall stuff. I'm telling you guys, I am just like getting started with all of this, but this isn't even from like decor. This was actually on Rocky's high chair for his first birthday, which it's just very fall-esque. So I kept that in that box. And then I just have a few pumpkins. Um, these I actually got after season last year, so I haven't even decorated with these yet. And then these, I wanna cut off these little tassels because they just like do not match. And this is when you're supposed to like paint. So I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I also have these pillows and this like little throw. As you can see though, I kind of tend to go for the fall colors in my house. So a lot of this will kind of work still, but I do like getting new stuff just to like make it feel a little bit different. I also had the idea of getting prints for this area. I wanna get like autumn prints for right here. This boy is hungry. He's just yelling at Nathaniel, one bite, one bite. I was watching Allison Bickerstaff's YouTube last weekend and just kind of like see how she's decorating and like what is kind of like out there because I think she went to like Target, Home Goods, World Market, like all those places. And I saw that their theme this year is kind of like mushrooms, which I think is super cute. So I know that Target has like these little vase filler mushrooms that I'm gonna get if it's in stock. And then I want to get another sign from that company, Amani Collective, but like a fall sign. So I'm gonna look into that, but like I said, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. We're just gonna decorate again like this area and that hall area, but I definitely want to add a few things to our collection. Um, I like to go more all out for Christmas, but my mom always was super good about decorating the house for like every single season, literally like even Valentine's Day, and it was always so fun and festive. So I'm trying to be that mom, <laughs> but it does add up really quickly, so we'll see what we end up finding. This boy is a maniac with breakfast. He eats all of his food, and then he proceeds to eat my food and Nathaniel's food. You love your meat, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I just finished feeding Echo and I wanted to give you guys a little update on her sleep. She has been doing so freaking good. We had a few days at the beginning where it was hard uh, for her to go to sleep, but like max she would ever be like on and off fussing was like 20 minutes and it wasn't like screaming bloody murder. She would just like get upset, we would put her binky in, it would just be like this thing. But that was only a few days and now she goes to sleep so easily and the few days that were hard, um, she also would wake up between like 3.45 and 4.30 and just like kind of be awake for that whole time, like fussing. But then she would go back to sleep until like 6.30 and now she wakes up at like 5.00 and we'll put her binky back in and then she'll sleep till 6.30. So we're like almost there where it's like a full 12 hour stretch, but she's doing so dang well. And as you can see, she already is at that stage where she just like wants to grab everything, but I'm really freaking proud of her and she's just blown us away. So it's been great. Her naps have also been pretty good. She likes to sleep on her stomach as I showed you guys. Uh, our mattress is 100% breathable so it doesn't stress me out, but she always just like rolls over to her stomach so we just leave her. But if she falls asleep on her back, usually that's when for her naps she'll wake up and just be like a little upset and we'll go in and put her binky. But I don't ever have to rock her back to sleep, which is insane because I always had to rock Rocky. But she's doing so good. She loves her sleep and she's a happy baby because of it. Also you guys, I don't know where to put her bows. Like do I put it on the center of her head, the side of her head, the other side of her head? Oh, I just don't know, so let me know. Garden won't stop giving back. Good job, does he love you? Do you love her? Yeah. I could really use some stuff like that. That was sweet, mommy. <laughs> Give her kisses. Don't hey, puppy. That's not nice. <laughs> you eating your pizza? It's good. Not hot. Do you want a color? Okay. What is that one? <laughs> You're coloring? Can you say color? I am driving to my sister-in-law's right now. I'm about to pick her up. We are going to grab a drink and then go shopping, but I just wanted to share. I have really felt extremely just like overwhelmed and I don't even really know that I want to admit this, but I feel like I've just been kind of like needing a second away from parenthood. Um, I think what triggered this is lack of sleep because this week when we recorded the podcast, Brooke and I stayed up talking until midnight and then I was up by like six and I don't do well if I haven't slept and I just have felt super tired and very impatient and just like not the mom that I want to be the past few days. And so Nathaniel graciously is watching the kids so that way I can go and just get some time to myself, like just go roam Target without kids with me and just kind of reset and recharge. Oh, Hi, good, how are you? Doing pretty good. We had the medium ice caramel blondie with an extra shot. And yes. I have a free drink. She also has a free drink. Awesome, thank you. you awesome. Do you have two shots? Cool. Yeah, thanks, you too. All right, we just got to Target and I just wanted to share my little list of stuff that I'm looking for because I, like I showed you guys, have some stuff and I'm trying to be specific so I don't overspend. But I have two little like candles that I want holder holders for. I'm gonna put them like, <laughs> dude, you're gonna hear me mess up so many times. <laughs> Not Kelly fucking laughing at me. <laughs> now I can't mess up at all, so. <laughs> I get holder <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going while she laughs at me. I spit out my coffee. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get holders for my candles and it's gonna go on my dining table. And then I wanna find a vase of some sort, maybe like an amber vase or like a ceramic vase so that I can put like dried florals on the table. And then I saw like a Sherpa kind of like fluffy pumpkin from Kirkland's that I might want. And then I wanna get those like mushroom filler things. I think I'm talking to you now. I think mushrooms are like kind of in for like fall. 
And I want some mushrooms. Mushrooms are so cute. Yeah, are they like, cute? Yeah. That's really I cute. It kind of, no, no, no. It reminds me of um, Echo's little dress that had yes. little mushrooms Maybe on it. Maybe that's yeah. what made me like mushrooms yeah. this year. I don't know. But I'm looking for that. And then, of course, like some pillows and candles. So that's the plan. I'm not going to vlog in there, though, because I am going to spend time with this one. And she's going to laugh at me if I vlog. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm such a brat. I just got home. I just wanted to show you guys really quick what I got as far as home decor. And I still want to get a couple more things, but I just didn't want to get it all in one right now. So I already had these candles. My friend bought these for my birthday. Um, I think they were from World Market. And I got these little candlestick holders. I think these are timeless and I can use them at any point in the year. I can even use them for Christmas, but I was really excited about those. And then I found those little mushroom things I was talking about. Um, they're supposed to be like vase filler, but I'm just gonna kind of like lay them throughout. And then there's like little acorns in there too. And then I also found this little acorn garland, which I just think is so dang cute. I got this throw blanket because I just loved like the little speckle details in it. And then I also got some dried floral. What are you watching? Moana Rocky just woke up from his nap and I just got home uh, he was laying right here and I opened the door and he didn't even look at me because Moana is cooler huh and I interrupted his Moana time he even has Moana goldfish huh buddy your goldfish Rocky you show them your Moana goldfish oh <laughs> do you want to get in the crib with her good job Echo oh good job oh she's sad you did so good. We're so proud of you, girl. Good morning, Echo Babe. Hi. 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 Oh, Tang. There's your Tang. That's sure something I could use. Tonight there is a UFC fight on so Nathaniel is watching that with like his parents. I'm gonna go down there in a second. Um, they're actually not here yet, but I personally hate watching UFC fights. I just do not find it humane or <laughs> enjoyable, but I always watch them with Nathaniel because he's obsessed with them. I wanted to finish this vlog by sharing something like super fun that we are going to be doing. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I've talked about wanting to live somewhere else for a chunk out of the year. And our original plan was to do it next summer. Echo will be like one and a half, Rocky will be almost three, and so it just seems like a good time to do so. We hadn't made like any plans on doing this, but the other night during dinner, a song from the Lumineers um, was like a TikTok trend that I saw, which it's funny because I don't even really go on TikTok often. But I forgot that I really liked this song. I listened to it a ton when I was pregnant with Rocky, I believe, or like right after I had Rocky. And there's a line in it that says, we gotta leave this town or we'll never make it out or something like that. And if you guys don't know, Nathaniel and I live in the same town that we grew up in. We are like 20, 30 minutes away from our high school. Our parents both live here. Like our lives are here, which is super nice, but like we have not left this town. And that's kind of why we wanna go somewhere. So anyways, long story short, we decided to do a date night tomorrow night where we are gonna make PowerPoints and we're both gonna pick two different locations and we're gonna try and convince each other of the location and that's where we're gonna go stay for a month next summer, which is just so exciting. One, it's such a fun date night. We're gonna have like a dinner where we make it together and just like make it a nice dinner, something that we haven't had before and then we're gonna present our PowerPoints to each other. So I need to work on mine because I haven't really had the time to do so. I actually haven't solidified which two places I am going to pick, but I will share you guys like places I'm thinking um, one is Utah I just feel like it would be super nice during the summer just to like have cooler weather but there's also like just so many fun things to do there from what I can see um, the other one is Newport Beach area I would love that although I do feel like it would be expensive and I don't know how I feel about like the traffic but the other area is Montana which is super random but my friend bought a house there and is renovating it and she's going to be renting it out and I was thinking of renting from her for a month. It's like on the lake 
and I think that would be super cool. So that's like where my head is at. I will let you guys know like how the night goes and what we end up like picking and like all that kind of stuff. If you guys are curious, I'll probably share on my Instagram. So follow me there. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's day in the life. It was a Saturday. It was a little bit more chill. I had more help so I could do more things for myself, which was fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.